Hello and welcome to Bob Box. Okay, so we have a bit of an oddball on our hands here. See, first of all, Tartarus is a bit of a hard robot to describe. So, let's go. Tartarus is a reverse wedge with a lifting arm at the back and a crushing head at the front. It was replaced with a crushing claw for Series 7. It was bright orange and designed to look like a dragon. Tartarus was Dutch and made its debut in Series 2 of Dutch Robot Wars. So it makes sense that we should start there with its fight against Jim Spinner Charismaniac in Heat B. Say hello, by the way, to Rob Camp Hughes, who presented Dutch Robot Wars, and Bridget, the pit reporter. Jazz Maniac's team had some very cool shades, so Tartarus had a problem right at the start of the fight. They couldn't outcool the opposition. And now to battle. Tartarus, being large and slow, was an easy target for Jazz Maniac, and after a few hits, Tartarus stopped moving. Trasmaniac kept tapping Tartarus, ultimately putting the Dragon Bot on the flame pit. Of course! One of Tartarus's teams had a good old face palm over that one. All the while, Tartarus was being counted out. Oh, and the commentator sang a bit of Disco Inferno while Tartarus was being put on the flames. Trasmaniac opened the pit, so Shunt came over and tried to shove the dragon in the pit. Trasmaniac then kept trying to rescue Tartarus, but got chased by Sergeant Bash for its trouble. So, shouldn't put Tartarus in the pit, and that was that. This is the point where Tartarus crossed the channel for Series 7 and got the claw. It found a home in Heat L and drew Flipper UFO, Pinsabot Crustacean, and Bulldozer Behemoth, who were seed 10th. Man, it's been a while since I talked about that fight. Tartarus was also bereft of its creator. So two of the team captains um, entered Tartarus in his place. They said he was a secret agent and on a secret mission. Tartarus had to explain this all and how they ended up with the robot to Jane, the Series 7 pit reporter, who didn't seem to buy this story. Tartarus was also decorated for, with their tinsel for some reason. So, as soon as the fight started, Behemoth turned Tartarus over, shoved it right into Shunt, uh, who axed the dragon bot without mercy. Tartarus could not self right either, that never helps. When Shunt finally left Tartarus alone, it got counted out. UFO did rescue the Dragon Bot from Dead Metal. Tartarus also stayed aid in the arena, unlike Crustacean. Didn't return though, also unlike Crustacean. Tartarus may not have been destined to go far, but it didn't really work and it had no self writer being the first target of Behemoth Sire never helps either. However, I do like the team's deadpan sense of humour. I'm not sure if I'd buy the secret agent story though. So, before we find out who's next, um, I have an important announcement to wait, make. Waffle Iron is fighting again! It's uh, fighting on Wednesday and I'm a bit nervous. And I'm also driving. Let's hope my driving doesn't stink this time around. So, who's next? It's... This one. Armageddon. Until next week, Carlson244, out.
Oh, and for those who are wondering what the sound of something dropping was, these scissors fell off my desk of their own accord.